Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness. Alright, um, I've done a bit of uh, um, skill grinding, not too much. Uh, I got uh, throwing up to 400, acrobatics is what I'm primarily working on now, along with a bit of climbing. Um, intelligence and vitality are up. Excuse me, so uh, mainly what I'm, uh, I think magic is up to. Mainly what this video is going to be about is uh, uh, recording any um, events that uh, occur while I am wandering around. Because um, there's a lot of things that will happen. Uh, it's very difficult to sleep in this game without something happening. Um, so that is my current goal. Let's uh, head up here. I should be able to... Uh, yep. Well, that's really quiet because of the uh, thunder crash. It comes in the form of two slavering necrotors. Hey, who is that next to the gate? Oh, you did come. Oh, you... I would never see you again. You took off your hood. It's dangerous to wander in Mortavia. I was quite frightened for you. Uh, don't worry about it. You stop growling, you stupid... Uh, let's, uh, go ahead and greet Katrina. Oh, I was starting to be scared out here by myself. You make me feel so... Alright, seriously, Necrotars. That's enough. Of course I'm flirting with you. Uh, you're not gonna read that at all? Are you flirting with me? Usually it's the other way around. You are very attractive, after all. Um... Let's, uh, ask about the castle. I live in the castle, yes. It is old, and many of the rooms have been empty for decades. Bogov Castle has been my home for many years now. Don't know why I'm not getting any uh, audio for her. Uh, tell me about yourself. It is rather warm tonight, isn't it? My scarf felt too confining. I hope you will excuse the fact I am not wearing it. I know it's not proper, but I didn't think you would mind. Oh, no, I don't mind at all. Mm. Uh, date? Isn't this a date? I mean, you did meet me here and everything. I wanted so much just to see you and speak with you again. You are very handsome, you know. Uh, tell me about magic. Um. I've got to be off now. Please meet me again. Say, three nights hence, I'll be waiting to see you here. All right, I suppose I can do that. <clears throat> Katrina walks off into the forest to the west and is quickly gone from sight. I don't know why none of that was uh, voice acted. Um, it's day 10, so day 13 is when we can meet her again. So at this point, you can see that my stats are, you know, essentially I am, I'm like dead if anything attacks me. Uh, I do have enough climbing skill to climb over the gate now, you though. You definitely slip over the gate and into town. And I believe Pyotr will have something new to say. A shiver of cold comes over you. You sense no danger, but even so, you find yourself afraid. Oh, I'm not too worried. Hey, Pyotr. There is a woman who sorrows, whose heart cannot bear the loss of one so dear. Anna's already dead, Her though. child was taken oh, by others, about Bella. and now exists as an undead. Virana's staff yet contains one great spell. The trading of one life for another. Yep, we've heard about that. Rescue the child from the castle and restore her to life. Okay. I the can do that. Sorrow of a grieving mother. I will definitely try to do that. Maybe she'd like to hear uh, see the uh, um the doll, yeah. I also actually have enough uh you are so exhausted. Yeah, whatever. I can all actually climb into uh, uh, my room now. Let's sleep until morning. Your sleep is interrupted around midnight. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was already midnight. <laughs> you awaken as the sun begins to rise, but you feel as though you haven't slept at all. Um, You've been here weeping from somewhere below your room. Is the sun really beginning to rise? I hope you uh, are not going to screw me over out of those hit points. No, it's still midnight. All right. So the sun is not actually about to rise. As you enter the hallway, you hear someone faintly crying downstairs. 
The crying is coming from the door below the stairs. That's the innkeeper's room. Well, let's uh, head down there and uh, let's just go in. Let's knock on the door. No, let's listen at the door. The cries are coming from behind this door. The you cries are coming from inside the room. The and his wife. You must accept it, Bella. Tanya is dead. You will never see her again. Never say never. No, I cannot believe it. She can't be. I know she's alive. I know she will come back to us. That's what I'm here for. Crying will not bring her back to us. This is foolish. Just go to sleep. How can I sleep when my baby is not safe? She is at the castle. I know she must be. Then she must be dead. Bella, there is nothing we can do. The cries fade off. Then why would why she... Why, why must she be dead if she's at the castle? Open the door. As you start to open the door, you realize that this is the innkeeper's room. You quickly close it again before you get caught. No. Uh, knock on the door. Nobody answers your knock. Alright, enough already. You know, I don't think there's any way to actually go back... Yeah. In the kitchen. Oh well. Now let's get back to our room and get, get some sleep. And sleep until morning. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Excellent. We got all our hit points back. Hit points are like uh, bonus stamina. Let's go ahead and eat. It's a garlic souffle, Mordavian style. Mmm, garlic. Uh, let's go ahead and greet. Get us. Uh. Nope. Nothing new. All right. All right, we're done here. Uh, are you gonna say something new? Thank you for returning my great grandfather's sword. My family honor has at last been restored. Ah, uh, no problem. That's what I'm here for. How's it going? Uh, let's go ahead and greet you. Say you're welcome. Oh, tell the Burgermeister he's welcome. He seems to think you're understating the case a little. I will never be able to thank you enough for giving me back my honor. You can try. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and greet him. Good day today, Paladin. Why, thank you. I appreciate you, uh, using that, uh, that title. You tell the Burgermeister how the sword glowed when you first found it in the Wraith Horde. A sword like that is only as magical as its user. You are a most impressive man. Were you in my room last night? No. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, let's, uh, let's say farewell. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, what about... Talking to you, do you say anything new? Um... Piotr's sword. I was told that only a paladin could use that sword. I did not believe such a story. Now I know that it is true, and that my grandfather was a true paladin, as are you. Indeed he was. Uh, Tambadon. I thought I didn't believe in honor. I guess I lied to myself. Honor is something I do value in others, and in myself as well. Oh, that's excellent. Glad you honor it in others. It has just been hanging on the wall for all these years. I am pleased that someone will make good use of it. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, family? My mother's father despised Pyotr and would speak no good of him. I never heard my grandmother speak of him but once. Oh, really? When she was dying, my grandmother called me to her side. She said that I had to believe that Pyotr was a good and honorable man. And did you? I thought she was wrong all these years. Okay, you didn't. Tsk tsk. I hated my grandfather Pyotr all my life. Now that my hatred is over, my heart is light. Oh, that's excellent. I'm glad we've uh, helped you out there. All right, let's uh, say goodbye again. Good luck. Thank you. 
All right. Uh, I'll go. Ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pause the uh, uh, recording, and when I return, I'll probably have another uh, like dream or something to do. Um, so I will see you momentarily. All right. I'm in uh, Arana's uh, garden. Let's see if we have a dream. Yes, we are. You are flying in the very source of all magic. More. You bubbles. are filled with power and the knowledge of how to use it. Sweet. You create flowers dancing around you. Wait. Trees fill their branches Why would I do with that? magical fruit as you touch them. That's silly. You dance in a circle, and the very ground itself radiates peace and harmony. I could just ca cast you a calm spell. You sing the message of your heart, and the magic echoes around you a song of love and happiness. So I'm a hippie child. Got it. Then you realize that it is not you doing this. It was someone else back in time. Oh. Interesting. So I believe that the you hear uh, that voice calling you again. The dreams that you Darkness get here surrounds you. And by around a staff are the same. You. The voice calls out again and you are afraid. It calls from the center of the darkness, drawing you nearer and nearer. The darkness sucks at you, pulling you towards the voice as it flays all warmth and life from you. Well, that doesn't sound fun. You scream. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Well, that's... odd. Okay. You wake in a cold sweat. You remember every detail of the nightmare as though it had really happened to you. It did actually happen to me. Alright, uh, let's uh, see how we're doing now. Um, acrobatics are at 199. Climbing's up a bit. Uh, intelligence and strength and vitality are all up a bit. Uh, so, go ahead and pause it, and when I return, I'll probably have another dream, because that's mostly what I'm going to be uh, uh, doing, is uh, hanging around outside of here and uh, grinding up skills, and then sleeping, so, yeah. Anyway, I will return momentarily. Alright, let's see if we get another dream. Yes, we are! You float gently in this ocean of harmony. Oh, it's the music you of the spheres. remember the happiness of being here before this. Now there is greater joy. Really? You not alone. You are filled with the warmth of friendship. You share your hopes, your dreams, all the best moments of your life, knowing that here is someone who understands and cares about you. Really? You reach out to touch your friend, but there is no one there. Huh. You are all alone. Eh, you awaken the as the sun begins to rise. That's the life of a hero. You wake in a cold sweat. All right, well, that's that was brief and kind of pointless. Okay, well, when I return, it'll probably be another dream. Actually, let's uh, let's see. So we were looking for uh, what day thirteen. Uh, okay, so yeah. Tonight, we will go uh, visit Katrina again. So, I'll see you momentarily. Alright, let's go have our meeting with Katrina, but before we do that, let's uh, take a quick look at how we're doing. Uh, intelligence is up a little bit, vitality is almost maxed out, magic is at 351, luck is going up, acrobatics are, almo uh, are almost at 300, uh, climbing is going up a little bit. Uh, not much else is going up, but, uh, alright, let's go see Katrina. Did you get my message? I hoped you would come to see me here again. I, I wanted to ask a favor I actually did not get a message from you. I need your help. I am trying to find... I hardly even know one another, and, and here I am asking you for favors. Oh, I'm always happy to give you favors. It's just that this is so important to me that I couldn't wait to ask you. Oh, ask away. Let's go ahead and greet. It is strange how much I look forward to seeing. I have never really cared about a man before. You know, you should probably do something about those necrotars, seriously. Uh, let's talk about ourselves. I'm glad you are getting along here so well. Wherever you go, that is a very useful skill. Indeed it is! I'm pretty good at it. Uh, let's go ahead and flirt a little oh. bit. I do. Perhaps we should find out sometime. 
I'm game. Uh, let's see. How about just talk directly to you? Um, message. <laughs> I really wanted to talk with you again. It gets so lonely here, and you are so much fun to be around. <laughs> oh, I thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, favor? I want... But really, it is too dangerous. I would hate it for you to get hurt trying to help me. No, it's okay. Oh. Besides, I... I'm a paladin. You can trust me. Trust. You and I, we have met only a few times. How do I know if you are telling the truth about yourself? I'm a paladin. I need to... Shut up, Nectar. Danger willingly for me. Oh, well, that's me. Perhaps when we get to know one another better, I will be able to know if you are the one I need. Oh, ah. I'm the one you need, my dear. Oh, are you leaving now? Please work on your skills before we next meet. Modavia is a m very dangerous place. I do need your help, but I don't want anything harmful to happen to you. Farewell. Oh, Katrina seems to walk off into the mist. Odd, you've never noticed much fog around this area of the forest. It's uh, we're, we're not in a forest. Well, all right, let's uh make our way back here, and I'm gonna make a quick break, and then I'll go back into town. I'll be right back momentarily. All right, let's go ahead and climb over the gate. You deftly slip over the gate and into town. Oh yeah, I'm deft all right. A shiver of cold comes. Hey, Piotr. How's it going? Is a woman who's her all right, you're going to say the exact same thing. Yep. All right, probably could have waited until uh, later, but oh well. Uh, what time is it? All right, it's still kind of uh, early. Uh, let's knock you on the door. Movement. Is everyone still here? So you're back. No, oh. it's your front. Take a seat. God. No, no. Dude, it's small. No. I got a joke just for you, so don't look so sheepish. Oh no! What have I walked into? <sighs> Our only options are say goodbye. All right, let's go ahead and sit down. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and Shut all up. you others. I'd like to say how glad I am to be here. I'd like to say it. Seriously, folks, staying at the Hotel Mordavia has been like staying at a resort. A last resort. My room is so small, the mice are hunchback. I couldn't even complain about the room service. There wasn't any to complain about. And the innkeeper's wife really went out of her way to make me feel at home. She ignored me completely. Can I ignore you completely? I wasn't feeling well, so I went happy out to. to visit the local doctor. You know, Dr. Cranium. He's the guy with the three pairs of glasses. One for nearsightedness, one for farsightedness, and one to look for the other two. I said to the doctor... Did he really get his humor back? A strange noise. I can't tell. Going, tick, tick, tick. Aha, said Dr. Cranium. We have ways of making you talk. Next, I went to visit the local store. If you don't know what's up, then you haven't seen their prices lately. And the shopkeeper, what a gossip! She suffers from acute indiscretion. I dislike repeating gossip, but uh, what else can you do with it? Ignore and it? boy, oh boy, the monster's in this place! If I ever come face to face with a revenant, I know what steps I take. Long ones. What would I do if ever I saw a necrotor? Hope it didn't see me. Actually, folks, I'm up here for a good reason. A jester's ambition is to be healthy, wealthy, and wisecracking. If it weren't for my friend the uh, hero unfortunately, over you're there, none of those. I couldn't make a hyena laugh. Yeah, I still can't. So, when you've lost your wit, broken your funny bone, and none of your puns are fun, it helps to have a hero handy. Oh, that's true. You know, Fair point. that reminds me very little of the story Agreed, about though. the grave digger who was so bored, he buried himself in his work. You know, I could tell you some more jokes, but you'd only laugh at them. No, so I wouldn't. Long and be good. If you can't be good, then be careful. The gnome takes a deep bow and gets down off the stage. <sighs> it's funny, you always thought he got down off a duck. Ha! The townspeople explode into spontaneous applause. Man, they really Each do not have much going on around here. people wonder what you've been up to. 
So, was that funny, or are you just keeping your mouth shut? I'm just keeping my mouth shut. All right, well, let's uh, talk to him. No. It's good to have my wit about me again. Nothing worse than someone who can't take a joke or one that tries to tell one and can't. Before you helped me, when I told a joke, people <laughs> always clapped their hands. Unfortunately, it was always over their ears. Now, whenever I tell it's a like, joke, uh, there's there a away. script mix up here. So I'm leaving before they write me out of town on a nail. <laughs> a short joke there. Uh, let's ask about jokes. Did you hear the one about the dwarf who is so dumb, he always stops to think and then forgets to start again? Everything that's said to him goes in one ear and out the other. There's nothing there to block traffic. I can tell dwarf jokes all day, mainly because there are none around to stop me. Uh, I'll stop you. I'd be happy to stop you. Please stop! In another minute, I'm gonna say my bye-bye and fly. I'm going south for the winter, down where the nights are balmy, and so am I. How are you going to get out of here? Silmaria, land of winter waterland. Oh, are we going to have to meet you again? No snow, no cold wind to blow. Up here, the winter is so cold, even the wind howls about it. <sighs> I think he might be done. Gnome? The gnome was very odd and said very strange things. Yet, Mr. Bones was very funny this time, and I enjoyed listening to him. You need some Mystery Science Theater 3000. There will be no more entertainment acts at this hotel, understood? At least not until a new funny entertainment arrives. I completely missed what that ad libbing was. I think I am sorry to see the strange no I'm not leave. It was odd being able to laugh again. If only for just a moment. Good God, you people are desperate. Hey, uh, how would you uh, like the gnome's performance? You know, he wasn't such a bad person once you got to know him. No, he really was. Yeah. Except for that drooling problem, we'd welcome him in Moldavia, if he ever came back. I still wouldn't let him marry my daughter, though. Well, you don't want to have, have, have a daughter. Kid. Well, that might constitute a major obstacle to marrying her. That's a fair point. Uh, did you fall asleep on us? Townspeople. Gentlemen, I was dangerously close to being amused this evening. Dangerously close, huh? Oh, yeah. I had a great time, a great time! Laughed so hard, I almost lost my lunch. Please don't lose your lunch all over the table. Uh, performance. Now that was an evening of, thank goodness, rare entertainment. Oh, I will agree with you there. It was okay. I laughed till I stopped. That's I'm telling you guys, accurate. Bafo. I even got some of the jokes. Oh, that is a bad sign. All right, well, enough already. Um. Say goodbye. The voice is lost in the noise of the crowd, and the gnome doesn't seem to have heard you. Good. Means he won't say anything to me. Let's get out of here. You unlock the door to your room and go in. Well, it's so long, it's been nice to know you. I like you. I have no taste, but I like you. If you ever make it to Silmaria, look me up. I never forget a friend, especially if he owes me money. I don't well, owe you money. Seeing as how it's me that owes you one, I'd better get while the going's good. See ya! Don't take any wooden kopecks! I don't plan to. So everyone, I'll leave you with this story. A man runs up to his doctor and says, Doc, you gotta help me. I keep thinking I'm a goat. The doctor asked, how long have you had this delusion? The guy replied, ever since I was a kid. ba da boom uh. That just goats to show you I'm one bad dude. It's been sheer pleasure here, but I'm going to take it on the lamb and just bleed it. Be seeing you. Shoot me now. Let's see, are we going to have any uh, dreams or anything? Again, your sleep is disturbed by the sound of voices. Damn it, people! Uh, there! I think I am getting something this time. Oh, hmm. A rotten tootin' root beer commercial? No, 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 no. I, I think I'm getting... Erasmus? Wind. If I could only uh, just the fine-tuning on this thing. Uh, hand me those pliers. I'd, I'd like some root beer. What if I just turn this knob here? 
Don't touch that. Now a strange voice in tones. Eeny, meeny, chilly, beeny. The spirits are about to speak. You find yourself thinking, are they friendly spirits? Before you realize, we're just dreaming. I think that was more than just a dream. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Hey, that was that was Erasmus and Fenris, everyone. Ah, oh, I hope we get to see them again. I would look forward to that. Uh, let's see. Real quick check of our stats. Uh, vitality is almost maxed out. Intelligence is pretty high. Acrobatics are a uh, nice bit up. Climbing is up a bit. And uh, at this point, we will uh, return momentarily when we have some more stuff. All right, let's see if we have another dream here. And we do! You are in this weird and wonderful place once more. This time you remember all the times you've been here before. And despite the beauty, you are afraid. I'm sure it'll be you fine. Listen for the voice. It calls out for you. Dinner's ready. You feel the darkness surround you. And you remember dying. I hated that time. That was a terrible you time. Overwhelmed Glad I got over it. And you remember running away. Your lungs struggle in the agony of no air. And you remember screaming. No, I actually don't remember that You are part. helpless and hopeless. And you remember the eternal loneliness. No, I'm pretty sure that With didn't happen all your happen remaining to me. strength, you reach out to touch the voice. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Damn it! Don't you hate it when you uh, get so close to getting to the end of the dream and, uh, and then you wake up? You wake in a cold sweat. <sighs> Always happens. Alright, well, we'll return momentarily with uh, another uh, dream or something of that nature. Alright, I'm back with Dr. It Cranium. good to see you again, my young friend. Have you ever considered taking up a career in science? Hmm. I just uh, went in here and he said something uh, that I think was new. Say hello to the scientist. We might Welcome have had it before. Uh, but let's see. You really should. I get that and that and that and then say goodbye. Say goodbye. Be careful out there. It would be a shame. All right, so he, he said something about uh, if we ever go to Silmaria, he'd be happy to give us a, um, a letter of recommendation and something else that I was going to make a joke on, but then he decided not to say it. Uh, clearly, because these are random statements at this point. Well, shucks. All right, well, uh, when we return, we'll probably have another dream or something like that. All right, well, we haven't uh, talked to uh, uh, the townsfolk uh, in a little while, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, greet everyone. Good evening, Slick. Thanks, don't call me hey, Slick. how you doing? Good to see you, okay? Um... Greetings yeah. and salutations. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. The only normal person there. Uh, let's uh, talk about herself. Oh, you've done quite a lot in Mordavia, pal. I have indeed. Yeah, it's a good thing you came here, a good thing. Yep, definitely. Yeah, because frankly, we never knew there were that many things to do around here. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, helping uh, helping out people, it's a uh, it's a uh, fun times. Uh, what can you tell me about the cave? Cave? What am I a tour guide? What yes. cave? The oh, you cave. You must be my apartment. We know of no cave in Mordavia. You're lying to me. He probably means the cave of the dark one. From the oh from yeah, Holocaust. that cave. Yeah, that's the cave I was talking about. <laughs> Very scary, you know? We didn't know you meant that cave. What other cave could I be in meant? Yeah. Generally don't care to talk about it. Like I care what you care about? It's uh somewhat on the cursed side, know what I mean? No, tell oh, me more. Yeah. It's bad luck. Very bad. Yeah, I don't believe you. It was made by the cult when they performed their unspeakable rites there. And a few unspeakable wrongs from what we hear. That's why it's kind of Ixnay on the Ave K, you follow? No, I don't. Tell me anyway. All right, fine. Let's talk about you guys. <sighs> now that the harvesting season's over, I can relax a skosh. Oh, yeah. 
now that the garlic is gathered and the cloves are put into the ground for next year, I can sit, enjoy myself, and be stinky. You now are that the elephants are, are all gone, I have nothing better to do than sit here and help the others drink. I regard it as kind of a public service. Yes, it's a public service to help the others drink. You are doing God's work, sir. Uh, what can you tell me about the Rusalka? A Rusalka is the undead spirit of a drowned maiden, okay? Yep, I got that. Yeah, she tries to lure others to a watery death. What a body! That's she the downside. The upside is she doesn't wear any clothes. That was definitely an so upside. So obviously there is some attraction, but there was a rumor for a while that there was a Rusalka in Mordavia's lake. Yeah, not anymore, yeah. though. No one who tried to check this rumor out ever returned. Rusalka's supposed to be very beautiful, you know. Yep, and the oh, ones I know. went to find out were all guys. What a pity. What a shame. Yeah, but what a way to go. Indeed, it was. Well, up until I helped her go, that was not something I... I now I'm remembering it, and I'd l rather forget. Oh, God. Uh, what can you tell me about vampires? Vampires? Oh, great. Chamber of Commerce is gonna have a fit. Look, just because <laughs> Mordavi is noted for vampires, it doesn't mean that there are any here. Yeah, just because we string garlic everywhere doesn't mean we're worried about vampires. It just means we're stinky. Yep. Yeah, Everyone I mean, loves garlic. Come on, you're you're overreacting here. Just because no one dares to go out at night or even thinks about visiting Castle Borgov doesn't mean we believe in vampires here. No, not at all. Oh, I uh, I understand your point of view entirely. Uh, tell me about more Look. about the castle. We know doodly squat about the people of the castle. All I right. You're lying. Oh, he's right. I mean, we have no reason to suspect that they're vampires. Other than the fact that no one has seen them in the daytime. And right, of huge course. Huge black bats circle the castle at night. It's definitely no nothing to do with it. at all. No, no reasons. No reasons. Um, what do you, uh, do you know any rumors? Look, Cool Breeze, I tried to tell you before, we do not gossip here. Oh, I understand. Yeah. You Unless we really want to. Want to keep me informed of uh, any what rumors I should ignore? Going on around here, pal. We're going to do it face to face. That's admirable. But but seriously, you should you should be telling me the rumors that are going on around here just to keep me informed of what I should be ignoring. You know, uh, that's a, a, an important public service. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and say goodbye. I'll wave to you in response. And then uh, we'll go to bed. And if nothing happens, then I think we'll call it an episode. Lock the door to your room and go in. All right. Anyone gonna contact us tonight? You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Ah, good. Excellent. Well, I guess that meant that we had no dreams or uh, people trying to get in touch with us. Uh, it's sad that Fen uh, Erasmus and Fenris aren't uh, trying to contact us tonight. I, l I miss those guys. Anyway, uh, we'll see you all in the next episode, which will probably be something similar to this. Um, just kind of uh, clearing up some uh, um, more of these events that we've got. Because um, I'm still working on uh, increasing my stats. Uh, currently, I have the open spell up to 379, so that's getting close to being done. Uh, and stat-wise, uh, intelligence is at 381, strength is 373, uh, vitality is maxed out at 400. Um, luck really needs some big improvement. Um, I'll probably need to do a bunch of parrying and dodge to get that up, which means I'll have to find a, uh, a rabbit. Uh, stealth is going up slowly, climbing is going up slowly, acrobatics is, uh, actually getting close to maxing out as well. So... Next time, probably more of the same. We'll see you then, everyone.